no, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Is this Immigration Fatigue Monday? <laughs> so are, we, are we launching it today? Because it's scientifically proven to be the day when you're most likely to suffer from it. Um, you know, I think they're working on that research. I, I think I... <laughs> Yeah. We don't want to push it prematurely, do yeah. we? When we see it on Facebook, we'll know it's real. Okay, fair enough. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so as most things that I ponder, um, I've spent quite a bit of time basically looking inward, which is where I get these things that, oh, you know, that might apply to other folks as well. Um a couple of things. One is I've noticed uh, a, sh a gradual shifting in this community over the almost two and a half years that I've been watching and participating live. And it's moved uh, subtly or not so subtly from a group that's primarily interested in visas and moving and all the logistical information of getting here and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, to more a community that's now been here for a bit and dealing with other issues of being in Portugal, some bureaucratic, some lots about traveling and experiencing new places. Um, and because of that, and because of my own experience, I thought this would be a great place and time to talk about something that's occurred to me directly, um, which goes back a little ways. Uh, it's there have been a few times over the last year or so where I've had a rare experience of just kind of that not really wanting to get out of bed. It's not strong in the morning. You know, it's not strong. Right. It's not overwhelming. It's just sort of the normal daily excitement and positive cheery attitude that I actually bring into my day almost every day just was missing somehow. And because of that, I said, huh, what is that? Huh. What is that? Why, why is What's it different? Spell? It's like, yes. <laughs> why is it different? Uh, and what is the difference? And I noticed I, I just, I don't feel all that motivated. There's this kind of underlying, um, subtle, I don't want to sort of energy in it. I said, what is that? That is so unusual for me. Was it general? And, you don't want to do something. Hmm? You don't want to do. You don't want to do X, Y, or Z, or is a general feeling? Yeah, just general. Yeah, okay. yeah, just a general. Like, ask me if I want to do anything. I'll be like, eh, not really. Yeah, yeah. You know, sort of that. But it's sort of a. Again, it's not overwhelming. It doesn't stop me. It doesn't overcome me. None of that. It's just this really subtle energy that I. I guess I notice it in the morning because I'm just waking up. So I'm just coming into myself and, and realizing things about the day ahead of me, that kind of thing. Um, but I got to wondering about it. And it, so the question kind of leads to, so what is it you don't want to do? And it's like, oh, I don't want to call Seth or, oh, I don't want to send an email to IMT. Oh, I don't want to go make another pursuit. Oh, I don't want to have to figure out how to say that in Portuguese. All these things that and I want to say, uh, this is not meant to be a whine or complaint. There's just an observation of my own experience, like what's going through me, because I think it will be informative and relevant to other members of the community who have been here a couple of years and in this process. And I've been, I hear it in, mm -hmm. in the descriptions of things people are doing. You know, Bob and Viv talking about they're getting their appointment for their immigration renewal. I've been going through that as well. So all of this. And... I said, yeah, there is, there's a real resistance to even initiating the email because I have this idea. I know what I'm going to expect, which is no response or a standardized response that doesn't address my issue. It's yeah. like, so why bother? You know, there's just why this bother? feeling. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes. There's yeah. just this feeling of it. And and the, uh, there are many, many differences culturally. And I was looking, you know, I've said bureaucracy is bureaucracy. It's a pain in the ass wherever you are. You know, I, I, the same Mexican friend has been in France, been in Italy, Mexico, the United States. Every time there's a complaint about the bureaucracy, it might be something different about the specifics of it, but most people don't enjoy the process. Um, so I was looking at, well, what is it? First of all, I, at least I was 
exposed to and experienced and trained in American bureaucracy, so it didn't upset me so much. <laughs> So you, know, right. you just you just become insensitive to it. But uh, the bureaucracy in Portugal was a twist on that. It was something different. And I said, well, what's the difference? And for me, the difference is that in Portugal, when you need to get something done bureaucratically, you can't forget about it. You can't let it go. It's not like, okay, I'll make my, in the United States, making an appointment, for instance, my experience is mostly you're going to get people get if you have a phone number, someone's going to answer. You're not going to get just no answer on a customer service phone number. It's just not going to happen. You may get an idiot at the other end. You may get someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. You may get wrong information, but you're going to get someone who's going to answer the phone. Well, if you send an answer at some point, yeah. Yes. Uh, well, even not, and usually it's within 10 rings. I mean, it's like they got switchboards. They're going to, they're going to answer those phones. Um, and, and so you're going to get someone, which means that you'll probably be able to make an appointment if you're calling a number for help with an appointment. So you'll get an appointment. Now that appointment may be 10 years down the road and you have to put it on your calendar and remember it, but you'll have an appointment. Oh, <laughs> yes. But in Portugal, you have to keep calling and calling and calling or or online again and again and again and again over and over and over. And you can't let it go. You have to do it today and tomorrow and the next day for however long it takes for someone to answer the phone or respond to it or to get a reaction online to be able to do what you need to do. So you can't for me, it was like, oh, I can't I can't rest. Even in between things, I have to remember to do that, remember to do that, remember to do that, remember to do that. And the, I said, what is that like? And I said, it's kind of like someone just poking in the shoulder all the time, hey, hey, never hey, stopping. Hey. Well, just, or even to annoy you, like, hey, hey, or whatever it is, you know? And it oh, just keeps oh, another, another analogy from today, and like somebody trying to sell you bay leaves on Rossio Square. <laughs> whispering okay. beyond you. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. But and at first it's kind of like, huh? And, and you don't pay much attention to it. But if it just keeps happening, it's not painful. It just is gets to be annoying and frustrating and aggravating and conscious continually. And I think this process of because I keep waiting for it for, to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, once I get this done, then I can, and it's like, oh no, now I need to do this. Well, once I get that done, then no, I need to do that. And and more than just day-to-day -day life, like, okay, I'll learn to speak Portuguese when, you know, whatever. It's like <laughs> things that, that need to get done, you know, yeah. everything needs to get done. So then it's prioritizing and all of that. So there's this, this constantly moving list of things that need to get done that just doesn't feel like it's ever going to stop, which if you project in the future can, can wear on you. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm talking about. Just sort of the weight and the energy drain of all of these things leads to what I eventually said, okay, I'm going to call this something. Um, but in addition to that, everything you're doing is in a new language. So that is another challenge. So you have a challenge in doing something that used to be easy. Now it's not as easy because it's in a language. Plus you have the cultural differences. So it's more difficult because you don't understand the culture or it doesn't work the way you think it is, or you don't know even what to anticipate. Um, and I'm just trying to think, uh, the, there's just so many examples of where things are more difficult. And again, I just, I, I feel the need to repeat this. I'm not complaining. I love being yeah. here. I'm, you know, yeah. it, I wake up 95% of the time. I'm in a fantastic mood and love the fact that I'm here. And I don't always have the, I don't feel like it, or I don't want to feeling. It's just in these moments when I notice, I, I check into it, what's going on because it's impacting how I feel and how I behave in my day. I don't want to be influenced by external things. I want to yeah. make choices about how I live my life. So that's why I'm looking at it. And I notice these details. And I think as I speak, I'm guessing many people have been through this will can relate to it and they understand. Well, there it. are comments coming in and people do understand it. I definitely understand it. I've already given it a hashtag. It's Portugal immigration fatigue or 
for short, um, which is the feeling I think you get. And um, some, it really is something. You've, you, you have hit upon something here. I didn't know you were going to be saying this. And I am going to launch it. It is officially Immigration Fatigue Monday, the 29th. <laughs> I will always be known as such. Every fifth Monday of January. <laughs> If there is one, if there that's is right. one. Well, that's what I'm saying. So it's not going to happen all that often, I don't think, at, the, right. at a maximum once a year. Well, let's have a look at some comments. And also, we've got to come back to your mindful migration. We'll finish with your mindful migration, um, or mindful moment, a mindful um, dad joke, and a visual one we've got as well. Let's see some responses to what you're saying, and let's maybe consider what we might be able to do about it, because it's definitely something I've – um, come up, come across, experience personally, and do have a suggestion about. Kalina's joined us since we were talking. Good morning. Oh, and thanks, Pete, as well. Uh, let's get that lovely video up of the Coliseum there. Um, hola, Feliz Segunda Feira from Colleen. Uh, morning to you, Colleen. Hola, Feliz. Colleen. Sarah says, I think there is a combination of me wanting to see something new and also wanting to have the familiar around me sometimes. Absolutely. That is very human nature, isn't it? A slight malaise, uh, Sue is Suze is calling it. I blame winner. Uh, spring will energize us. I, I suspect. Well, I would true. blame winter too, except this occurred in the summer. So <laughs> we we'll still blame winter. Yeah. Well, Damn well, you, winter. It's all the blame. It's the winter <laughs> lag. Um, I agree, Sue. Says Squire the show. I morning, Squire. Uh, the excitement of the new and the dread of the new. It can be both. Of course, it can. It's the human mind and emotions are. They're beat. They're like the the stallions, white stallions rearing up and tearing you in all sorts of directions. I find you UK bureaucracy infuriating. Says Pam. It's also impossible to speak to a, a real yeah, person. A real person again. <laughs> Here, for most things, you can actually go somewhere and speak to a live person. Well, that's right. That is right. Mm -hmm. And that's how Portuguese do it, isn't it? Admittedly, I've had limited dealings with Seth, of course. Um, a new roof uh, was – here's, here's a, a case of it, probably right now. A new roof was supposed to start today. No response to text. I surrender. But it will get done. One moment, mm -hmm. uh, frustration the next. Ah, oh, whatever. Thank you, Mr. Tim. Cup of coffee. Yeah, and that's a great point. You know, when there's a deadline – I experience it much more. If there's no deadline, I just take the Portuguese attitude. It'll get done. No, yeah, it'll get done. no worry. Yeah. But if I have to have it done by a certain date and I can't even get someone on the phone, then it starts raising anxiety levels. Of course. Waiting for my operation was the worst. Uh, health, obviously, when it's health. Uh, yeah, uh, deadlines and health, of course. It did happen within the time frame they gave me, uh, but day-to-day -day waiting for a date was awful. I'm glad... Uh, um, that you've been able to put that behind you, Pam. Uh, all the rules have changed since you were last advised. There's another. It was actually in my notes for today. Yeah, it's like trying to hit a moving target. <laughs> yeah, you didn't come to Portugal for a faster pace of life. Uh, so no, Pete's no. onto the fixing uh, and and the helpful suggestions. The weather seems to have an effect on me. Uh, the better it is, the bluer the sky, the happier and more motivated I Certainly. am. Certainly, yeah. and there's science to support that too. Of yeah, we just know it, don't we? As soon as we feel yeah, that uh, yeah. Portuguese sun on our bones. Uh, the presence of goats. I thought uh, I read that as ghosts, first of all. The presence <laughs> of goats in this field or that or waiting for them to cross the road always brightens my day. Lovely. And Pinky, mm -hmm. I figure if business doesn't answer their calls, they don't need the business. Yes, yeah, Seth. Oh. Uh, so but I if it's a government <laughs> that's saying you have to do this by now or we're going to kick you out of the country or fine you, it's a little yeah. different story. Yep. Yeah. So I don't give Certainly. them mine if I have other options. Yeah. Yes. Point, point, point taken. I agree. Though. Yeah. If sh it sure does, Squire looks like uh, looks at the sky in this video. I said to Di, "You never see that blue in January in the UK." She said, "Nor in summer." <laughs> 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 okay. The well, only that day, maybe <laughs> <laughs> that lovely day where every Englishman tears his. Remember shirt that off. day oh. back in. <laughs> 76 it was 76 i was yes, there yes, I think um, that, that's the one yeah the only thing faster in portugal is the driving suggests antonio f so i know you wouldn't you wouldn't alert us to this condition um to the puff, uh, portugal immigration fatigue which is officially recognized by scientists well and today. it's not it's i i'm almost positive it's not limited to portugal of course, I think this would be almost any immigration. any immigrant's experience with a new language. I think yeah. if it if it was in your native language, it would be easier. But the language definitely makes everything more difficult because you don't have a grip of the language yet, and you don't know how to communicate what you need to communicate. 
Yep. And I suggest you wouldn't be sharing this with us uh, just to tell us of the downside without giving us some help on how to deal with it, James, which will be a shock you if you me. say to me now, I've no idea how, what to do about this. So <laughs> goodbye. Have a nice week. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I'll leave you with that. And uh, let's see. Next, <laughs> next Monday, the first Monday in February will be Figure Good It Out luck. Monday. Yes. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy your week. <laughs> uh, no, you you know me so well. Yes, I, I really, when I have the time, I always have some ideas on, you know, but, so what can I do about this? Um, for me, the, the magic is always in gratitude. It's always in breath. I mean, that is my default at this point. I've practiced it so much that when I notice this, Melees. It's like, oh, I don't want to. It's like, okay, figure it out. So I did that. That's the notice, right? There it is. I mean, I'm not, it wasn't, it wasn't like a list. I go, through. okay, notice first. All right, what am I noticing? Okay, now choose. I don't do that. I just go through the process. I think we all do at some point. So I'm noticing I have this feeling. And it's like, okay, so if I want to understand myself better, what's that about? Okay, now I'm looking at that. And I said, oh, yeah, it's this sense of, this specific thing, I didn't want to do that. And why I didn't want to do it is because it, I anticipate it's going to be as difficult as it's been for the previous three weeks I've been trying to get it done. Um, so then it's like, what do you want to do about that? It's like, well, I think before I get into any other choices, I'm going to choose to breathe and look at what I'm grateful for. Because that always brings me back here and now into what's I'm talking about real people what's real you know Indeed. all this stuff is anticipation it could go better than it's ever gone in a totally unexpected way i don't know i'll find out um but i don't need to go into my day with that anxiety or aggravation or whatever it is so i take a deep breath And as I exhale, I say, what are you grateful for in this moment? And almost always for the last two and a half years, it's I'm in freaking Portugal. <laughs> you know, what are you grateful for? Really, that you can hold in your heart. Not that you say rotely, like, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this. I should be feeling better. No, you have to feel it. You have to feel the honesty of it. You have to feel the embrace of the thing you're grateful for. Then, you know, it's going to impact how you feel. Um, and then I'll go through a list of those. I'm grateful that I have the capacity to get out of bed, that I'm healthy, that, you know, whatever I'm grateful for. So I'm grateful you that, that I'm breath. learning. Take the breath you just did. I mean, that's not yes. a privilege, is it? An honor, is it? Absolutely. And we take so much for granted that we forget to be grateful for the, for the simple things, uh, really. Um, so that's where I start. And that always gets me back on track. And then from there, usually there's something like, you know, it'll get done. It'll all be fine. That, uh, and not just a way to try to run away from the challenge of it. Some people say, oh, it'll be fine because they don't want to look at the challenge. <clears throat> but I, you know, sincerely, it's like, it may not get done in time. It may not get done the way I'm being told it has to get done, but it will get done. And what do I know about Portugal? What else do I know about Portugal? And that is usually if it's on them, they own it. We didn't have anyone to answer the phone. So of course you couldn't have an appointment. So of course we're not going to kick you out of the country because you haven't renewed your residency. Yeah. You know, and as, as someone made a comment a couple of weeks ago, they said, oh, the government at some point, they'll just basically forgive everyone and say, now everybody's in, you know, and it, it wouldn't surprise me, you know. So reminding myself of that, reminding myself of where I am, you know, getting grounded, getting centered. Um, then I might look at why am I trying to do what I'm trying to do? Why would I do that? Why would I put myself through the challenge of that? And the answer is so I can be here. Yeah. You know, this is this is what's necessary. If I want to get from point A to point B, I have to move toward point B. I just have to. Otherwise, I'm yeah. not going to get there. Yeah. So I don't have to like it. But why am I if I want to be more motivated? It's I'm doing it for a positive reason. I'm doing it for well a positive said. outcome. Yeah. You don't have That's to like why it. I'm doing it. 
and yeah. that's really important i think james with these things is like it's fine isn't it you, you, it sucks some of these things are really stupid i mean not just well, it's just a pain in the ass for me it's yes. mostly that yeah and and it's you, you can see can't you this is a terrible way to do this um and it needs to be done so let's just get on with it shall we let's hold if i on. were in charge of the world yeah yeah and, and, and you know there's a little bit of comfort isn't there and this is just really ridiculous but it's like it is like the it, it, it is I mean, the, my distinction with these things is, you know, the, the, the beauty, the gratitude, um, what we love is, is, a, is life, is, is, is more about life. And there, yes. then there are these things, aren't there, to do with living. And that's the kind of rent we pay as human beings in our culture, that culture and a civilization that we live in. Some of well, it has got yes. really stupid and we still have to do it anyway. And you don't have to, like you said, you don't have to like it, but you do have to do it. Otherwise, you're going to make more problems for yourself. Well, the thing and, is, you don't have to do it. But if you see, this is, the, this is the this is the the notice, choose and act thing. It's like I can choose not to do it. I don't have to. Mm. And there's power in understanding that to really owning that there's nothing I have to do. Yeah, it's just Sorry. I may not well, like I may not like the consequences of making that choice. Yeah. And yeah. if I don't do it and I have to leave the country, I'm going to be very unhappy with myself. So I'm going to make the choice to get it done. OK, That's so you're good. choosing. You're not a victim. Yes. The only yeah. reason you have to do it is you chose to be here and you continue to choose to be here. So you're not a victim. So and, if wanna, out of that, and if you want to continue to be here, there are certain things you, you must yeah. do. Yeah, that's right. So that, it's that. like, okay. And, and to make it a more positive motivation, it's like, I'm doing it to get that, you know, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm living, I'm staying through winter so that I can experience spring. That's why. You know yes. what, what? And I love winter too. But I'm just saying, the yes. the feeling of it, that sense of it. There's a reason that you're doing what you're doing, and we tend to forget that because of the challenges we're facing getting the things done. We like, can oh, get I'm, bogged down. We can get bogged I'm, down in that, can't we? T -Duck doing is it here. For bon dia. I've been listening while working. Good to have you here. Talking of pain, says Pete. Uh, in a certain part of the anatomy, <laughs> we have to take us. Oh, really? What kind, oh, um, I, well, if anyone wants to speak to that, if you are needing to convey your some of your waste products. Did for, they want a three-legged or a four-legged stool? <laughs> Both of which are available from Ikea. Here's a sample of my stool. <laughs> it's a piece of wood. <laughs> this is like, we need to get you in immediately. <laughs> get this man an ambulance. Yes. Man, that is, are you eating <laughs> furniture? That must be really painful. That's a splinter. <laughs> right. Now, IKEA, talking of IKEA, they have an incredible sense of humor, it would appear. Uh, they have been putting up uh, posters of their furniture, a particular cupboard, apparently, or, or shelving system, might have been the Billy Cupboards, very useful for storing books, and certain amounts of money that allegedly um, uh, certain folks in the government were storing in one of these uh, cabinets, which caused Antonio Costa in some way to step down. Very good, Ikea. Well done. Uh, very funny. And that's the Portuguese sense of humor there, I think. It was probably a Portuguese interpretation of Ikea's Swedish sense of humor um, there. And that's and we have that in this mix that we're talking about today as well. And I go, I go to um, Pinky's comment here. Um, customer service is so bad here anyway. I don't know where you're living, Pinky. I feel pretty sure that I won't notice much of a difference in Portugal. The thing about the difference is pretty that sure you will have, well, you'll have you'll have bad customer service from really nice people. Would you uh -huh. say that's fair? Yeah. And you'll bad. you'll have some good customer service too, but it'll still be different. That's the, that's the main thing. You'll yes. notice a difference. All right. Also, uh, chipping in, I think uh, there is magic too in having friends. My work. next point. Thank you, Sarah. All right. Put it on the tee. Knock it down the fairway, James. <laughs> That's right. That was uh, the very next thing. So it's a great cue. Thank you. Um, and that's to remember that I'm not alone. I don't have to do this by myself. Even if, in my case, I'm here solo, with no family, no friends from the past here, but new friends. And new friends are being very helpful. I've created a life around myself by being proactive and being so happy with being here that I, I can find help. If nothing else, just for someone to be able to just go, <laughs> you know, say, excuse me, can I just sort of emotionally vomit for a minute? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, like, oh, thank you very much. I'm not alone. And that's helpful too, having people who will listen, having people who understand. Talking about this on this show today, um, 
you know, the, there's the whole community that we have here. So not being alone, there's a tremendous power and strength in that. And that is, I believe that's the power of group therapy is you really discover, oh, I'm not alone in this thing I'm facing. Yeah, there's right. all these people who had similar, not exactly the same experience, but we're all, we're all facing challenges around it. There's something mm -hmm. comforting in that. So remembering that we're not alone. Uh, for me, having checklists, because it feels like it, it never stops. It feels like you're not. So if you got 10 things on the list, every time you do something, it just feels like nothing's happening. So having a, a checklist, at least a mental, oh, well, I got that done. I got that. I have my driver's license. It took me 20 months. It was a pain in the ass, but I now have it. That's off the checklist. I don't have to do that anymore until, of course, it expires in six months. So I have to renew it. But, you know, so having a checklist no, so that you can see the progress you're making. I did that. I did that. I did that. And then you're going to add, 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 add. All right. I did that. <laughs> add, add. and did that. So it's just a ticking list. <laughs> it's the same, it's check, the same part check, of the mind, check. is it? I think the mind that suffers from this syndrome you're talking about is also impressed or impacted by a little pat on the back as well. Look, you did that. Look, you did that as well. It's the same sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And it goes with that notice, choose, and act, the uh, challenge they added, uh, not officially, but they added after you notice, and then you choose, and then you act, celebrate. I did it. Yay, pat on the back. I got that done. I did that. So, yes, that's imp that feels important to me. Very interesting parallel conversation going on with losing a or having a, a, a purse wallet stolen in Spain there. Thank you for that, T-Duck. And um, Sue's another tangent here. I made an old standard upside down pineapple cake. Gave some to the neighbors via Google Translate. Don't know if they have upside down cakes here or thought they thought Google Translate missed them up. Wouldn't that be funny if you say, look, here's my upside down cake in Portuguese and the Portuguese neighbors say well despite that it's really lovely thank you <laughs> it's a mistake of some or sort. why didn't you just turn it over <laughs> yeah, right but don't say anything don't say anything as well it's a really nice cake okay um i, I would add to this as well um along similar lines um this um this is something from, that i wrote in the portugal resident like why can you obviously obligatory pastel donata picture because i i think i mentioned the condition of peak pastel um and why retire when you can aspire the three stages i've got um in the in the life uh life life cycle or, or timeline is the what what's what which is the bit you went you mentioned before james what's what is what you need in the early bits isn't it and and you you know i, I think you make made a really good point about where this community is generally speaking a lot of people have done the worst of the what's what all the, the humps the hoops and humps that, that were you needed to face uh, and then the, what i think goes along with what you're talking about the immigration fatigue is part of the what now stage. It's like, you know, you've eaten all your pastel donatas and ticked a lot of boxes in terms of what you wanted to do here. And part of that malaise, I think, is like, oh, this is it. What, what do I do now? Uh, apart from renew my <laughs> residency and those sorts of things, which you don't I'm really excited play. to find out. I want to get to that stage. <laughs> yeah, okay. And and then I, I think what can help is, th is, is, is conceiving of or, or visualizing the next step that I've put there, which is what next. And that can, I think that can pull you out of the malaise as well. That's something in the distance to say, you know, what, 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 what will I do next here? I've, 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 you know, I've done plan B. I need yeah, a new which plan is, B. <laughs> it's a part of that. Why am I doing this? You know, to yeah. get there, you know, so the, yeah. they're definitely related. Yeah. Um, the last one that I put down and not necessarily the last thing there is, but to, and we're talking about what, what can I do about this, this immigration fatigue? Um, and, and taking breaks is important. Yeah. I really believe it. Giving yourself permission to take a breath, even though you have, this feels like there's more things going on the list faster than you're getting them off. Uh, it's important to get out of that stress and anxiety and challenge. I mean, we, we can't, I, I got a sports analogy and then I lost like, well, what's the, how's it, the connection, but we can't perform at a, at an intense, level all the time long term yeah, right yeah. we need to we need to take a break we need to let our bodies recover uh and then move on so for me it's a function of um understanding that 
everything's not going to get done right now anyway. Yeah. I've been doing this. There's my checklist. I've done these three or four things. I'll just take the rest of the day off. I'll get back to the list tomorrow or whatever it takes to kind of take a breath, relax, recharge. Um, and, and that's the power of being here now. Like the list, you're there with the list or you're there with the things you need to do. And it's intense and it's challenging and it's fatiguing. So now take a break and be with the break. Don't be in the break thinking about all the things you need to get done. Like be there in the break, enjoying the Portuguese sunshine, enjoying your friends, enjoying the fact that you are here and everything you're doing is to be able to remain here and continue this, this lifestyle. And it, the, the, the concluding comment came from last week um, where someone defined courage as being able to just sometimes just say, I'll try again tomorrow. Well and said. Really, it's really powerful. And what statement. you just described, mate, is what Portuguese people do. It's lunchtime. It is lunchtime. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, we're shut now. We're going for lunch. Mm -hmm. We're going to eat lunch. We're going to be together, and we'll be back later, courageously after <laughs> after <laughs> lunch. And 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 this is another thing, you know, along those lines culturally. Just to conclude here, because we need to do your mindful moment and mindful dad joke. Sarah says. Maybe all, maybe the all the slow processes keep the other qualities about Portugal that we love. And I think that you could say, could you not, Sarah? What if what is wrong about it is right about it? And I think these things do yeah. go together. You know, you, cause or effect. Of, hmm. Yeah, it's all part of a big. I don't know what is it a karmic soup or something. And it's like you, in, in many ways, although there might over time be some sense of improved efficiency and you know things could be done in to certain people's opinions and judgments better it all comes together doesn't it it all it's a, it's an entirety it, it, it doesn't help to just cherry pick the things you you do and don't like it probably is wiser to see this as one great big soup portuguese soup de dia um that we love with and occasionally there's a chewy gristly bit and some but mostly it's delicious and lovely and that's what we tend to focus on so james great job great job on that um i'll make a little segment of uh the officially launched immigration fatigue monday the fifth monday of every year now uh, and we shall be famous and forever known by scientists debunking the theory well and i think it helps to name it you know now it's like oh these things i'm feeling oh i can call it something so now i have an idea of how i can treat it i mean that's that's sort of the medical model but you have to identify what's going on and then uh, define what that means and then look at how do i make it better how do i heal it Yep, absolutely right. And laws of one and three, I was reminded by Lord Gilchrist's uh, law of three. If you've got a bit of bureaucracy to do, you probably have to go three times. Plan for that. And Sarah, okay. very good, very measured. We aim to do only one thing a day. It works mostly. So that's a good bit of advice as well. Mm -hmm. um, and look at this, James, that you sent me. You should take uh, responsibility for a this. A good old-fashioned dad joke. <laughs> go on. What do you call it a while. that makes okay products, James? Let me think about that. I think I would call it a satisfactory. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can improve on that. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. <laughs> You'd hope it wouldn't be too difficult to improve on that. Um, it's a low mind, bar, yes. <laughs> mind, mindful moment, then. What you got? Uh, from Wayne Dwyer, if you don't like the way something looks, change the way you look at it. Right, um, and that works for the conversation we've just had, doesn't that's it? That's right, and that's wisdom of the ages. There's virtually nobody who said really meaningful things has not mentioned that piece of it. It's all about how we look at it. And it's the only thing you can change, right? Sorry, there's an incoming call there. Um, it's yeah. the only thing you can well, change. Hola, bon dia. Oh, scupa. Uh, uh, tudo bem. Uh, I'm, on, <laughs> I'm on my live stream at the moment. You're on the Good Morning Portugal show, so I'll have to call you back afterwards. Scupa. Oh, I'm so sorry. That wasn't that wasn't meant to happen. I need to, I need to put the phone down. I'm so sorry. That's embarrassing, James. I'll have to ring that lady back anyway afterwards. Oh, it's my it's my lady at my bank. I I, I feel really doubly bad now. Um, okay. I'm going to ring it back. Up the show. That was awful. Thank you that for bringing terrible. life into the, the yes. real life into the life of this show. So Thank you, Urubik Meliada. 
so I will call you back <laughs> after the show. Um, so then your mindful dad joke. My Zen master told me, do the opposite of what I tell you. So I didn't. <laughs> no, wrong sound effect. But <laughs> you didn't like that? But that's suitably random, isn't it? <laughs> Very good. Uh, great job today, James. Uh, take good care. We'll see you next next Monday, of course, for more Mind. Uh, we'll probably pick this theme up, won't we? And um, uh, and continue, I think, talking about this wonderful idea um, that you've shared with us here. So great job. Have a great day. And we'll extend that to everybody. And we shall be back again in the morning, of course. Would you like a final word? Or do you think you said enough already? You've done enough damage. <laughs> I have done enough. I always have something more to say. But just uh, encourage people in the community to offer their suggestions about how they manage it or, or yes. questions about, you know, I've struggled dealing with this, you know, whatever. It's helpful to have uh, input from our community as well. Lovely. Okay. And we'll I, I'm going to post something up when I've made the segment, we'll post it up on the Portugal club as well. We'll have a little bit of a chat about it over there. Great job, mate. Take care. Bye for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Okay. In Portugal, there's a YouTube show Full of fun facts you need to know Carl brings a bell and the members show To the GMP morning show Featured guests will come and they will blow your mind The audience will do so in kind The little vanity Mixed with some insanity On the morning show With GMP Good morning Portugal And I'd like to welcome you to Another fantastic day Hey you gumpers